Good morning, traders. Welcome to the weekly outlook from your friends at Privateer FX. Um, let's take a couple other weekly charts just to kind of get a uh, due review, see what happened uh, last week. Uh, you know, if fairly, very quiet week there the, the biggest movers were um the kiwi dollar which actually did have a nice bounce off of 69 cents uh still closed about 0.8 percent lower on the week um so that was one of the weaker ones that was on the back of the rbnz uh, and analysts thinking that they sounded a, a bit dovish in the in governor Orr's first meeting uh, here's a dollar max weekly chart. You can see we went up to 1970, roughly. <clears throat> we did close back down at uh, 1945, but that's had a nice, you know, another green week, so four weeks in a row. Um, still really nothing out of NAFTA. Market's actually awaiting, awaiting the NAFTA, um, if, if in fact they can get anything done. And, uh, the, you know, there's a, there's a de deadline coming up. Dollar Turkey, another green week, so it's had two, two big weeks in a row, although we are off the highs <clears throat> from, uh, we're off the highs of the week by about eight big figures. Um, dollar Swissy went up, made a new high for this move, but kind of, you know, kind of a, almost a doji type week. This after having a parabolic run up, uh, you know, Euro dollar has been sold now for four weeks straight. That too came, uh, did have a nice little bounce, so it's it's bounced over 100 points off the low <clears throat> after the uh, U.S. CPI came in a little, a little bit on the low end of expectations. So we're still in the camp of uh, looking for a tactical um, dollar lower uh, move. Um, you know, we didn't. There wasn't much going on Friday. Um, we did have some early dollar sellers, and then, uh, and then it kind of turned around a bit. So you, know, you take a look here at the the hourly euro. We got up to a high of 119.67, and then settled down here around 119.37. So you know, 30 points off the highs. But um, you know, the euro is just above uh, 100 and 200 hour moving averages. Dollar Swiss is still trading below the 100 and 200 hour after uh, after having to move up so uh, we're still playing from the short side um, but again it's a tactical I do I like the dollar I think dollar index can get up to about 95 it got up to 93 and a half last week so we we are looking for a few more days of uh, dollar selling and then uh, we'll be looking for dollars to buy it Still, I still kind of like selling cable. I still like selling Kiwi uh, on rallies. Those two in particular. Dollar Swiss is still buy on dips. Uh, you know, dollar Yen was actually a very, very quiet week. Um, you can see we uh, it didn't really do much of anything on uh, on Friday. So. Not a lot on the economic calendar. It's kind of normal. This this uh, this week every month is, is 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 kind of a quiet data point week. So keep your powder dry and uh, tune into us on the European Open, and we will speak to you then. Good luck trading, and have a good week ahead. Cheers.